Hello, how is everybody today? My name is Bruce. Welcome to our channel. Please click the like and subscribe button. If you enjoy the content of our channel, we have all kinds of interesting things on here. Um, this just happens to be something that I'm going through in life right now, and it has to do with cancer, so I figured I'd go ahead and document all of this and hopefully shed some light on procedures, um, operation, the before, the after, the during, all that fun stuff. But again, like and subscribe, share, and comment below if you want. And we really appreciate you uh, very much for doing so. Um, so if you've been checking out my videos on my skin cancer that I had on my nose, uh, you saw that, um, I'm just looking at the, I'm just looking at the difference right now, sorry, because I really haven't paid attention to it for about a week, but, um, except for upkeep and stuff, but, uh, you saw that I, I had, um, I had been, uh, diagnosed with, uh, skin cancer and, um, I went to OSU, uh, hospital they did the procedures called the Mose procedure M-O-S-E and that's where they do a scrape of the area and then they turn around and um, put it under a microscope <clears throat> see if they got it all and then if they didn't they go back and they redo it um, so on and so forth but uh, anyway, so I got, you know, uh, lucky and it was all done in, um, one, they got it in one scrape and it took about, I think three and a half hours altogether from the time I got there to the time I left. And they were very fast. Uh, about 40 minutes of that was waiting to see what the results were after they did the scraping. And then it could have taken longer if they had to go back in. Um, take some more out and analyze it again but uh, for me like I said that did not happen so today is day eight yesterday would have been my one week um, uh, one week ago is when I went in to have the procedure done early in the morning check back and look at all those videos and you can watch everything as it happened uh, today is number day number eight and looks kind of funky just sitting here looking at it 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 is it looks probably looks worse on there than what it is uh, the reason it looks so strange is because it's healing and they said that's normal to do um, you know, it, it, we don't, you don't want these to scab up at all. You want them to always stay moist. Uh, you don't want air to get to them. You, because I, that's, you know, you heard, you heard back in the day that, uh, you know, always let air get to stuff, blah, blah, blah. But this is not the case with this because you want, you want the skin to be repairing and always staying moist. They, they give us a, um, they give you like a combination of a Vaseline and something else to help with the healing, prevent scarring. <clears throat> um, this bump I had was probably about a third of the size of an eraser tip, maybe a quarter of a size. Started out as a little peely type of skin area and then two years later, uh, once it, you know, started turning into this bump, I finally got in and uh, took you know had them take a look at it but uh, they the the area after they got done with it was about the size of an eraser of the whole eraser and it's kind of a big crater in my opinion you can look back and and see it doesn't hurt at all the worst part about the whole procedure was the needles and then at the end they cauterized it which is they stick this this heater thing in and they burn it and it kind of seals it up and boy it stinks too it's burning flesh um but uh you know when it was all done it was about the size of an eraser 
and I'm gonna say probably as far as depth maybe about you know an eraser I don't know what's an eraser about half an inch um, is maybe maybe a quarter inch deep maybe a little deeper <clears throat> but it's slowly healing and it's still an indent gosh maybe that's just a shadow I've been seeing all this time here I thought I was thinking that half of my nostril was kind of gone but um, it actually might not be it, it's dented it's dented in I don't know maybe you guys can tell but it decided not to have any plastic surgery done until we saw how well it healed uh, they would take some out up here and pop it in there but they said it might heal itself pretty pretty well and the the nose grows from the inside out so you know I'll just see what happens and if I have to go in later I will but anyway that's what it looks like now day number eight and like I said it probably looks worse than what it is looks disgusting um, it's more more it's got some bruising looks like around my cheek or that could be dried blood I can't really tell this morning but um yeah so just wanted to give you that update and let you guys see the progress there so again thank you very much I hope this video has helped any of you that may possibly going uh, be going through the same thing and um, wish you luck in any type of cancer procedure or any procedure for that matter but uh, just keep the faith and pray and everything will be fine meanwhile thank you like subscribe so and share and comment below if you wish have a great day i'll keep you updated again thank you